Mr. Derek Barnes. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. And thank you for bringing us here to 40 Acres News Media. I understand that he has won quite a few awards this year for his writing ability. And yes. why don't you tell us what you have? I am uh, trying to get the book out right now. Okay, please. Here it is. Um, I'm the author of 10 titles, but uh, this is my 10th title. It's entitled Crown and Ode to the Fresh Cut. Came out October the 10th, 2017, and uh, ended up winning seven major literary awards, which includes uh, Ezra, two Ezra Jack Keats Awards, two Coretta Scott King Awards, a uh, Caldecott honor and a Newberry honor, and uh, the illustrator won a gold medal from the Society of Illustrators. So we, uh, that's a home run. That's a grand slam. We we got pretty much everything. It's been an extreme blessing. So. so I'm holding up this book. Why don't you tell me a little bit about Crown? Crown is essentially. Uh, on the service is about that feeling that black boys get when they go to the barber shop and uh, when the barber's done he hands you that handheld mirror and you just take a, that first look at yourself you feel like a million dollars like you <laughs> you feel like a new person uh, I know when I was a kid and got a haircut I felt smarter when I went to school and I had a haircut but uh, the underlying uh, theme of the book is just affirmation for our black boys. We talk about how much we love our black boys and how beautiful and strong they are. And nobody else outside of our community appreciates them, we do. So, um, you know, we see, uh, you know, I talk about the barbershop being the only place in our community where black boys are really tended to and treated like royalty. So, uh, yeah, all my books about affirmation and about self love and just building our children up. You know? Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Now, where can we find, how can we purchase your books? Where are they being sold? You can go to my website, that's DerekDBarnes.com, D-E-R-R-I-C-K-D-B-A-R-N-E-S.com. Uh, go to Instagram, uh, author Derek D. Barnes, and you can go to Amazon and just type in my name, Derek Barnes. And all my titles will pop up, Crown, uh, I have a middle grade novel called We Could Be Brothers, I have uh, a scholastic chapter book series called Ruby and the Booker Boys. So, yeah, check me out. <laughs> and Barnes is spelled B-A-R-N-E-S? Yes. B -A -R -N -E -S. Okay, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Who inspired you to start writing and when was that? What year was it? I, I've been an avid reader since I was, I started reading when I was four maybe. And uh, just being fascinated by the ability of the writers, I didn't know this then, but to just create a atmosphere and uh, create characters out of thin air and uh, I, I just I was always fascinated with that and I I still read a lot everything that I get my hands on it it just serves as fuel for my creativity uh, I, I'm a big fan of music musical lyrics uh, big fan of all the writers and artists from the Harlem Renaissance uh, Langston Hughes is my favorite writer uh, he had a series called the Jesse B Simple series and that's where I learned how to create characters and navigate and tell tell stories and everything. So um, I don't know. I just I, I just feel fortunate and blessed that God gave me the ability to weave words together to tell a story. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, I know coming up as a little girl, we have a lot of uh, public service mm -hmm. on TV about how important it was to me. Mm -hmm. And we don't have that much as much encouragement as we. Yeah. What words do you have for a young person that may be watching this right now about reading? Maybe there's a kid out there struggling mm -hmm. with reading. What would mm -hmm. you tell them? Well, I always tell parents that, um, and, and kids, that you don't have to read, you know, for entertainment. You don't even have to really enjoy reading. But what you must understand is, in every career choice that you make, every job that you have, you have to know how to acquire information. And that means that you're gonna have to read. And so, uh, we talk about uh, having, having these keys in order to move around in life. Reading improves your, improves your vocabulary. 
it takes you places that you probably won't be able to travel. I mean, most of us aren't rich enough to travel to Africa or France or Italy, but I can open a book and go there in an instant. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, in order to increase your vocabulary, which allows you to navigate and be around different groups of people. So um, I, I encourage you to pick up any kind of book that you are interested in. It may be a nonfiction book, book about cars, dinosaurs, whatever kids are interested in. Yeah, I think uh, parents and adults should give them those books. You know, it, it may not always be the classics. They may not get into reading uh, of mice and men, you know, right away. But they may like a book about cars. Get them a book about cars. Yeah. Well, look, Mr. Barnes, it's been a pleasure speaking Thank with you. you. Pleasure. And Thank I you. I can't wait to get into this, this book, Crown, an ode to the fresh cut. Yes, yes. This is awesome. I can't wait to check out the illustrations as well. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Have Thank you for having me.